Hi everyone, I want to quickly touch on the Tessimate function. Um, this is where we were last time with Tessimate on the model. We did it at a value of 0 0.05, which is the smallest Tessimate will go to. And we Tessimated the model and we ended up with 500,000 poly uh, polygons approximately. Um, I'm going to go to the bigger model, which is here, and click on this guy. I'm going to get rid of the color. So you can see what happens but this time i'm going to decimate at a value of one and we ended up with around about the same size polygons as we did with a smaller model so decimation is basically dependent on the size of your model if your model is large like world scale you have more scope to move the slider around <clears throat> because decimate is dynamic so if I reduce the slider, uh, if I reduce the slider size, you can see that the polygon count has increased to six million polygons. Obviously, this is going to make um, polish by groups and polish by features a bit more difficult because you've got more polygons to deal with. But you can kind of gauge how far you want Tessimate to work your model, so you can decide, you know, because it's going to have like B4 retopology and just kind of a quick zero mesh. I reckon this kind of area should be fine and then when you zero mesh it you can kind of like do it again like like i said in the tutorial and you'll be okay so if you find that you're not having the best results with tessimation just increase the size of your model if you have multiple models you can use the pizza boxes and um you know if you have sub tools you can go to move and you can kind of like increase if all your models are like relatively the same size you can use the pizza boxes and increase the size of your model dynamically and then try that again and that will help with the uh, testimation function so just remember it's size dependent um, you're not locked to having it with you know jagged edges and stuff you can kind of like dynamically move the polygon size slider and change you know the size of your polygons uh, that's what i wanted to say so yeah i hope you are able to use this in the future See you next time.